Um, she is my sweet neighbor. She is the best neighbor. Uh, we had a cute, fun, short haircut for her. Um, so I just wanted to show you that. A little something about Ellen. She um, makes quilts, she sews, and she is amazing. <laughs> you are, Ellen, you are so talented. Anyway, it's definitely a talent. Okay, I'm just gonna clean up her neck. Okay, and then up here. So she comes every three weeks. Um, so we just trim it up a tiny bit. We don't have to take a ton off, but we just point cut. So this would be a good haircut for somebody who likes to just kind of keep it tight. Just do it every three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. She's once every three weeks. And then the next, so like on the sixth week is when we add the color. And what color did you do on her too? Um, the color on the bottom is a seven double N, um, which is just right here. And you'll see when I dry, <clears throat> I just do it a little bit different than the top because I want a little bit of contrast. So I do the seven N below and the eight N above. I do add a little bit of eight A um, to counteract a little bit of the gold through the top. Um, but yeah. That is what I use. And I obviously use a 20 volume. Um, 20 volume will cover gray. So that's what I do. And then I just bring this in. Yep, when you see Ellen, she's always looking nice, always done up. <laughs> Thanks to Rodona. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. Just bring this down. Yeah, this is definitely um, a very easy, right, Ellen? Mm -hmm. An easy, yep. easy cut. <laughs> that's so, what we need. Yep, that's what we definitely need and love for sure. Okay, now I'm just starting to come around this way. You come in and cut this. Okay, and then this side, point cut into that. And then of course, you know, angle that in. side and you can you can see from the hair you have cut before um, for a guideline so you know how much to take off then of course on the side when I'm all done I'm going to just move her ear just cut up this way So that's just short and out of her way. And then the top. Just gonna point cut into that. Hope you guys are having a great day. I appreciate you guys jumping on to watch. Super, super nice. Outside, we're like, Halfway sunny, halfway cloudy. It's been cloudy, so we're like wanting the sun to pop through. It's kind of crazy how just sun makes you feel so much better. It's awesome. 
Okay, so by the ear, I'm gonna hold this out. And point cut into that. Then, this is the hair above her ear. Just gonna cut this up, clean that up. And then just open and shut your shears um, softly in little motions like this. And that way you can get this to be different lengths up front here. And then you can um, obviously check that after you dry it to see how that, that is. See if there's any, you know, other little pieces you need to piece out or anything. Doing good, Ellen? Yep. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Again, just come down from this ear and clean this up. Open and shut shears. Okay, and then for the bang area, same thing. I'm just taking little tiny pieces up in so it, it cuts up in that way. Okay, now we're going to texture. Um, Ellen, I'm gonna use the chunky just up here towards the top a little bit so it'll piece out. And then the other texturizing shears, I'm gonna do kind of on her sides just a little bit. And through her back, just a little bit through here. I like to use those thicker ones, um, or chunkier, I guess I should say, just for the top and stuff to add different um, texture, a little bit of texture to it. And the other is for volume. You know, that will give you volume. Okay, sweet. Let's style this. Um, this is a color spray. It actually will, this is a good way to, um, have your color hold is to use a color spray, just so you guys know. This is a good mousse for volume. Root lifter. Thickening spray. Okay, now, this is the fun part, then you get to see the ending. Okay, now the clay, I'm gonna rub in my hands and I'm gonna come in here and piece this out. We'll piece out this front and that way you can see if, you know, you need to piece anything else out up by your face. How long has Ellen been coming? Oh gosh, how many years now? <laughs> a long time. Long, 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 long. <laughs> I was gonna say you probably have this hair cut down. Other, <laughs> we've we've known each other forever. Um, she's had her hair like mine before, um, asymmetrical. Um, her son is actually my age. We went to school together, and she would come and watch her grandson, which was with my boy when he played ball. So we've been baseball. we've been to baseball <laughs> together, football games, like we've just 
been around and now we're neighbors. So, and let's see, I moved in this house almost six years ago. So we've been neighbors for six years. So it's been fun. Okay, so now I'm just gonna back comb. Then I'm gonna spray. I like to spray when I back comb because it helps it stay a little bit. And then I just like to take my pin comb. Um, that is the key is, you know, to have a good pin comb too, to help you back comb your hair um, for it to stay. That and the texture. And the wet brush. Oh yeah. All of it, everything. <laughs> you know, I go into one thing and I'm like, oh yeah, but you're, it helps to have this and this, but it really does. It makes a huge difference. All right. Let's check that out, Ellen, and see if. Looks great. You're fun. Is that good? Yep. Okay, awesome. Nothing better than a new color. Than <laughs> Get all refreshed. Okay, and I just spray it. And she is set. I always just like to make sure everything's in, in place. Okay, I will turn her around so you can see the cute shape back here. And you can see with the color, see how it's, it goes just a little bit darker at the bottom. So it looks really natural. So this is lighter and then it has a little bit of the dark. Um, so anyway, thank you, Ellen. I appreciate it. Uh, it was fun showing you off and your <laughs> cute haircut. Uh, thank you so much for supporting me. Go ahead and jump on my email list. I'd love to have you on the email list and you guys have a great day. See ya.